Hey, warrior friends. I am so excited for today's warrior conversation, and I cannot wait to introduce you to my warrior friend, Laura, as we unpack the question, what does it mean and how can you live radiantly? Hey, Laura, I see you joining, and we'll get you added to this conversation in just a moment. Those of you who are joining us, I would love to say hello. Comment a hi in the chat. Let us know where in the world you're joining today's warrior conversation from. And Laura, you can go ahead and click the request to join me button. I'll accept it and we will get you added to the warrior conversation. Okay, let's see here, Laura. We will figure this out. I just sent you an invitation. <gasps> Yay! Yay! There we are! Yes! I am so excited to chat with you because I love our mutual friend, Megan. Yes. So much. Agreed. Yes, she's, she's amazing. amazing. <laughs> and I've heard incredible things about you from her too. So like, I just can't wait to dive in. I've checked out your podcast and just what you've been up to. And so I would love to kick off the warrior conversation with you just introducing yourself to a new warrior friend. Someone doesn't know Laura, like who is Laura? Okay, awesome. Well, my name is Laura Strand and I'm, I'm really excited to be on here to have this conversation this afternoon, evening. I live in Southeast Missouri. For those of you just looking for a little bit of reference, we live in a, a rural community on the river about mm, two hours south of St. Louis. Um, my husband and I of almost 25 years, which is crazy coming up really soon, we planted the Bridge Church here in Cape. Um, it's going on, it's almost six years now. And so, yeah, we've got three kiddos. I have a, a son who just graduated from college and one who just graduated from high school. And then we have a daughter who's 12 that rules the roost. So, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And, you know, I heard through Megan, I saw on her social media about this new podcast that's launching, right? And it's all about living radiantly. So then I start to check you out on Instagram and I'm texting Megan. I'm like, hey. I really want to meet your friend, Laura, and I'm listening to her podcast. And do you think she would even consider being on Becoming Me.TV? And so I'm so thankful for that introduction. And as I've really been able to dive into a lot of your heartbeat and your passion for equipping women to live radiantly, like I would love for you to just share with us, what does that mean? You know, I love the, the concept of that, but what does it mean to live radiantly? You know, I... I really feel like sometimes life, there's just chaos sometimes. Wouldn't you agree? It, it just 100%. gets crazy. Yeah. Yes. And we experienced even, that with technology tonight. Yeah, just tonight. <laughs> yeah. So there, there's always chaos and it always seems like there's just distractions and we live in this world of busy and we live in this world of so many people and of social media and just constant comparison that I think it's really easy to feel like your small piece of the puzzle and what you do, what you contribute, but it's insignificant. And because of that, I don't think we tend to realize how much we reflect that onto like our, our parenting, our interactions, our job. And in actuality, there's a verse in Psalms. It's, it's one of the verses that really drove the blog, Psalm 34, 5, that those who turn their faces to the Lord, like they'll be radiant with joy and no shadow of shame will darken their mm -hmm. face. And as I, I got to thinking about that, I thought, how do we, how do we do that in today's culture? How do we live so that mm -hmm. in everything that we do in the middle of this chaos, we are still reflecting the light of Christ. And that's really the heartbeat behind living radiantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's beautiful. Nutshell. I absolutely love that. Like, and it's just a really good question to wrestle with. And we all can live radiantly in the midst of the chaos and the distractions. 
And so now I'm curious, like, what does that look like for you? Like, how are you walking out living radiantly as Laura? And, and I'm, I'm glad that you asked this question because I think that it's really easy for us especially I was, I was mentioning just a couple minutes ago with social media to look around and, and like, look at what Emily's doing mm -hmm. on with her life and look at what so-and-so's <laughs> doing. Look at what so-and-so's doing. Like, I think it's so important for us to realize we were all created uniquely. Yeah. And until we are walking in that unique purpose, mm -hmm. we will not show the world the radiance of Christ in us, especially if we're trying to copy mm. something else or trying to be something that we're not. And, and so for me really coming into, so I was a physical therapist assistant okay. for almost 20 years and I loved oh. my job. Like I loved, I loved my job. I loved working with patients, but when God called us to plant the church, my husband and I knew he was calling us to, to co-pastor, which is a unique model where we're yeah. from, you know? Yeah. And so really, coming into this realization that God had given me a gift for speaking and for sharing his word and for pastoring and shepherding, knowing that that was my purpose is really tied to living radiantly. Because until we're walking in what God has created us to do, it's, it's really hard to feel mm -hmm. like you're doing you're doing good at something, right? Because when it's mm -hmm. something you don't like, we'll all be like, I'll do whatever you need to do. But if it's something you're not passionate about or something you're not gifted for, it's really hard mm -hmm. to feel radiant. Like you just want to hide in the corner. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so for me, it's really stepping into what God has called us mm -hmm. to do um, and, and yeah. me to do personally, like walking in the purpose that, that he created me for. That's so powerful. And I couldn't agree more. And, you know, for the warrior friend who's listening and they're like, okay, like, I appreciate hearing your story there, Laura, and how you're applying living radiantly to your life and discovering your unique God-given purpose. So how would you encourage another warrior to really dive into identifying, like, here's how, how God made me and wired me what my purpose is so I can now live and walk radiantly? I think that especially we were talking a little while ago about the distractions that are around us. And I'm going to say a word that I know some people are starting to roll their eyes at, but honestly, it's about being intentional. And I yes. think people are sick to death of hearing like <laughs> be intentional, but it's so true. I think mm -hmm. that we have to be intentional about putting him first. I think mm -hmm. to live radiantly, it all starts with putting him first. And, and I think we have to also recognize that's going to look different mm -hmm. from season to season. And we don't have to place this expectation on what it looks like to put him first. And, mm -hmm. and I, on one of my first podcasts, I mentioned it, that might be choosing to listen to worship music and pray and the pickup line at three thirty. Yeah. Like it might not be five thirty in the morning for you, right? Mm -hmm. Cause you might be feeding the baby and making lunches and right. what does that look like? Um, so, but just being intentional with your time and making sure that, have you seen that example where there's a vase and if you put in like all the apples and the oranges and and the rocks like that you can't fit or if you put mm. the sand in the bottom you can't fit anything else in mm. but whenever you put god in first everything else fills in around that and and yeah. i think that's the truth i think we've got to put in god first and then it's an overflow radiance yeah. is an overflow and and the second thing that i would tell people is like what does it look like for you to get connected is that a specific prayer time you know is that conversation mm -hmm. is that worship music like, what does that look like for you is it a different version of the bible is it a podcast mm -hmm. what does it look like for you to stay connected mm -hmm. to the source because we can't we can't shine with his light if we're not connecting with it and i think that's the most important component i i really couldn't agree more because i think it's easy for us to look at that word radiance and live radiantly as the outward expression, you know, right. and so I'm put together, I look good, or maybe I'm on a stage or my Instagram yeah. is the most followed, or I have a podcast or something that people can visibly see. But I love what you're sharing. It's really, it's what's on the inside that then flows out. So radiant living is in the car line and it's making dinner and it's showing up intentionally at work every day, giving your best, working unto the Lord in everything you do. It's not necessarily the what you're doing but how you're obeying and living out the purpose god has put in you right now in this season 
Um, you know, you've mentioned your podcast, I've mentioned your podcast, and I love the episodes really, you know, they impact us and equip us with steps for living radiantly every day. So tell us a little bit about your podcast and where and how people can follow you. Sure. So the She Lives Radiantly podcast is on Spotify. It's on Amazon. It's on on Google. I'm still new a little bit to the all the different platforms. I was always just a Spotify girl or iTunes girl, you know. Um, so you can find those, but you can also find them on my website at laura-strand.com. So all of the blog posts and the podcast links are on there as well as social media, Laura S. Strand. I usually post all of the, the links to the podcast when they first come out um, right there on my social media. That's amazing. And I'm with you. I think I learn about a new podcast format every day. Like right. the day I was on Amazon and I saw an Audible, you can listen to podcasts and like the Becoming Me podcast is on Audible. Like I didn't even know you could You didn't even know it was on there? No, That's until awesome. Today. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel like I need to go look and see if my, like, I don't, I don't know. You put this stuff out there and you just have no idea it where goes it goes everywhere. It's yeah. crazy. So I, I'm with you on that for sure. You know, Laura, is there any like final words of encouragement or warrior steps you want to equip someone with as we're wrapping up today's warrior conversation? I think if I had to just say one thing, I, I think especially in our world, we get so wrapped up in thinking it all depends on us, mm -hmm. you know, like everything depends on me. And so if we're not careful, even with choosing to walk in freedom and to live radiantly, we can start to think that it depends on us. And mm -hmm. in the book of Exodus, when Moses goes up onto the mountain and meets with the Lord and brings back the Ten Commandments, the Bible says they couldn't even look at him because his face was so radiant. And so I just want to remind somebody out there, like it does not depend on you. It does not depend on your strength that when you are meeting with him, that you don't, you don't have to do anything extra. It's just going to be an overflow into your life and into your relationships, just meeting with him every day and having those encounters. Oh, that's so powerful. Thank you for sharing just that warrior encouragement for all of us. Um, it's a good reminder and I'm thankful for that. And thank you for your time, for joining this warrior conversation, for investing in us. Y'all, if you're not already, please go follow Laura and subscribe to her podcast. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and thank you, Megan, for introducing us. Got a shout out in there. So Laura, you're amazing. I love you and I'm cheering you on big time as you're becoming you more your friend. Thanks. Thanks for having me so much. Thank you. Have a great night, guys. All right. Bye. You too.